Playwright has two types of the assertions locator assertion and generic assertion and those assertions looks very very similar but the behavior is quite different so let me show you on this example what is the difference between them uh, this is the test application conduit bonderacademy.com and let's run a quick and simple test to make a validation the text conduit displayed on the home page how about that so let's find the locator first for this element this is a banner and the text is located under the h1 tag so let's do this going back to the code and i create the locator first of all const title locator equals to page dot locator and then this is a banner class and h1 tag all right this part is done now let's create a generic uh, assertion for this text so what I need to do so first I need to extract the text from this locator so title text content I'm gonna call the method text content to extract the text I need to use a weight and the value of the text will be saved into the text constant and then I can call assertion in playwright for the assertions we use a keyword expect then I provide the argument text and assertion to for example equal and value conduit that's it and let's quickly run this test to make sure that it is working running the test this is our browser and the test fail okay why it has failed because the conduit is the lower case so let me type it conduit lower case run it again and test passed successfully. All right, so and without waiting too much, let's write a locator assertion and I will show you the difference. For the locator assertion, we also use a keyword expect, but instead of the value right here, we're gonna provide the locator, which is title locator. I will need to use a keyword await and I will use the assertion itself to have to have text this guy and I provide the same expected result text conduit running the test run test and this test also passed successfully so look what is the main difference the difference number one that generic assertion will have a value for the assertion this text represent just the value that we want to assert and the value on the right is the expected result uh, that we are expecting from this value so we comparing value on the left to the value on the right and for the locator assertion we use a locator not the value itself so the locator assertion will query the locator extract the text from this and then make a validation because we use a locator assertion we have to use a keyword await while for the generic assertion await is not needed why do we need await because uh, locator assertion will request our locator and will wait until the value that we expect is available also how do you know which is uh, locator assertion and which is generic so you can do this by hovering over the element for example to equal if i hover over look it's written generic assertion so the assertion itself is the method that you chain after the expect expect is just the beginning of your assertion the actual method the difference is the second part to equal so to equal is a generic assertion when you use to equal you don't need a weight and you have to provide the value for to have text is part of locator assertion here we go you see it's written locator assertion and when you use a locator assertion you have to use a weight one of the obvious benefits that locator assertion is definitely look more compact look we need to provide just one line instead of two lines right here but there is a second benefit of the using locator assertions and let me demonstrate that so moving on 
Uh, going back to our application and let's say that the second test that I want to run is to validate that um, text discover Bonder Academy or just Bonder Academy available in this list of articles. So when I refresh, we have the list of articles on this page and I want just to make sure that this article is loaded. So how about this? So right click inspect, let's check it out where are the article is located. So this is the first article and the locator for the entire list of article would be this one, app article list tag. So let's grab this guy and we continue our test. So I'll create a new constant list of articles equals to page dot locator and this is the list of articles. Then for generic assertion as usual I need to create const uh, for example all text equals to uh, list of articles dot text content. Okay and I need to use a wait right here and then let's create assertion expect and then all text and then I will use to contain and the value is Bonder Academy like this and let's run this test running the test it's launching the browser and the test is failed so let's look what happened right now and look expected substring Bonder Academy but receive string loading articles. Hmm, this is weird. Where are the loading articles coming from? We clearly see that the page, when we refresh the page, it's loading the articles. But when we run the test, for some reason, uh, test framework somehow picks up the value loading articles. Look at this. I'm running one more time and again, assertion fails. And right now, let's rewrite the same test, but using a locator assertion. What difference we're going to see? So I'm closing this one and let me write the second assertion. Await expect, then list of articles, and then locator assertion to contain text. And the text will be the same Bonder Academy. Like this, and let me remove this step and run this test one more time. Running the test and look right now assertion passed successfully. Okay, I'm closing this, running one more time and test passed successfully. So it's working as expected. Now why there is a difference. And the difference is because this method, so if I run it one more time, because method uh, text content, it does not wait for expected value that we want to have. The thing is that values uh, for these articles are coming from the APIs. And it takes just a tiny millisecond for these articles to load. And while those articles are loading to the page, there is a text displayed over here, which we don't see because it's happened very, very fast loading articles. But once articles loaded, we see them on the page. And this is what happened right here. When we run this test, this method picks up whatever text available on the page at the moment when this line of code is executed. So it's not waiting for the value Bonder Academy. If value is not there when line number 16 is executed, then whatever value was on the page was taken and assigned to the all text constant. And then we have a validation right here that, hey, the value that we got from the page should contain Bonder Academy. And because it's not, well, the assertion failing. But for the locator assertion, it works differently. The list of articles is a locator and the method to contain text expecting Bonder Academy to be displayed on the page. So the locator assertion waits for this value automatically to be displayed. And how long does it wait? Five seconds. So locator assertion has a defined timeout specifically for the locator assertions and it will wait up to five seconds for the expected value to be displayed. And I want to show you this little delay one more time in action. So for example, when I run this test one more time, it will fail. 
And if I close this, uh, look, the execution of this line took just two milliseconds. So we got the locator five milliseconds and then text content two milliseconds. But if I comment this code right here, and run this code one more time. No, hold on, I need to close the browser and run it one more time. Run it again and look, 107 milliseconds. So this is how long it took for the API to actually load the data uh, to the web page and then the data validation happened on the page. So that's actually the main difference uh, of locator assertion and generic assertion. And the reason why you always, always have to use locator assertions in your test, because they are significantly more stable and they dynamically wait for your elements to be available. And uh, locator assertions helps you to uh, break the flakiness and fight the flakiness in your test. So as a best practice, always use locator assertions in your test and your test will be much more stable. To know what type of the assertion you use, just hover over it and look, hey, is it locator assertion or generic assertion? And don't forget to use a weight. If you will not use a weight for locator assertion, it will not work properly. All right, guys, if you like this type of content and want to see more, subscribe and see you in the next video.